first season wasn't probably my best season. I didn't bowl, didn't bowl that badly. Probably didn't get the chance and the bit of luck every now and again you need. But probably just felt a little bit unsettled moving to a massive county like Surrey compared to Somerset. But yeah, since then it's been been good. We obviously won the championship last year, so can't really complain about that. About that. Obviously played for England last year, which was another one of my big steps, um, big goals. Um, but yeah, it's it's gone well, and I can't really complain so far. Um, so I had a um, scan in January, hoping it was just going to be sort of some like joints or stuff, but it turned out to be a stress fracture, um, which is not the end of the world because it sort of meant I had a decent amount of time before. The, the summer back here starts, um, so I've not missed a load of cricket. But um, it's all it's disappointing when you get an injury. But it's just it's just one of those things now. Yeah, so we're we're on our way from my house to to New Malden at LSE, where the second team play their cricket, playing against Sussex today. It's just another game for me to get back into cricket and. Um, hopefully be ready for, for the blast next week. As a club we want to win trophies and the squad that we've got in T20 cricket we should be we should be there or thereabouts every year. Like like you look at some of the players, it's it's sort of phenomenal the amount of talent that we've got in, in the squad. We obviously managed to get to the quarter finals last year and we didn't quite go over the line against Yorkshire, um, which was very disappointing at the time but looking back not so bad thing it probably make could make us a bit hungrier this year that we actually want to do get the final stay and win that trophy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's obviously disappointing losing last year, but yeah, I think the lads are looking forward to sort of correcting, correcting that this year and rectifying it. So we've got a second team game against Sussex today. Um, we played them earlier in the week. We're just sort of gearing up for, for the start of the T20 Blast next week. Um, we've got some of the big guns back, so Tom Carr and Jamie Overton uh, are back in today. So yeah, good to have them around. Smile for the camera. <laughs> I'd love to be out there, but the reality of the situation is I couldn't lace me in those boys' boots anymore. So for me, the preparation is the, is the key bit, um, but I certainly live every ball. What do you think about yeah. bouncing the ball over the top of that? It'd be good if I do it first time. For me, it's just trying to get back into it and almost feel my way back into the game. It's not a high pressure situation, it's sort of just trying to learn about yourself and what you need to improve on. Um, I say that's probably the biggest thing in these sort of games. My first time back on the park today, back with the second team, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, we've got a good squad, a big squad, so everyone just building up to that first T20 game. From what I've seen, they've got quite a few first team players playing as well, so it um, should be quite a competitive game and probably be quite a good run out for next week. We've had a good side for years now, but I guess you could say we've underperformed to a certain extent. Um, you know, you've judged on trophies and that's what the aim will be this year again. Well, we've had a really good start to the championship, so the, the whole feeling around the squad's really good. So hopefully we can just carry that into the T20 Blast. It's always exciting this time of year when, when everyone's back together and playing under lights and stuff. So yeah, everyone's very excited. Oh, there's the chest. Sorry. 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 Ah! Yeah! yeah! There is no outstanding football this year. JT is comfortably the worst. So bad. He's got shins for feet. Get out of here, mate. No way. Never his fault. Always somebody else's. But very quick to pick up another people's mistakes. He's one of those guys. Good luck, Ed. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, we won the toss and we'll bowl first. Yeah, we played the other day and it's quite a small ground. The ball disappeared over the boundary a fair bit, so hopefully capitalise on that, whatever we're chasing. For these boys, it's moving from a net situation now moving into game time it's, it's the pace of the game in t20 is such that nothing can replicate it in terms of training so the only way you can do that is by getting out in the middle this sort of game time for those boys is going to be vitally important oh, still got it. <laughs> 
Well, first of all, you know, it's competitive games. It's it's second eleven T20 Championship. So one is competitive nature, and also to see how the youngsters are doing and progressing. Who's pushing to get into the first team squad, and then we've got three or four players coming back from injury, who, if it are likely then to be, if not any eleven, um, but certainly in a squad of fourteen, come the first game. Yeah, I think we did all right. We only had five bowlers, so it, was, it can get quite tricky at times with just the five. So I think we stuck out quite nicely. We kept taking wickets, which is the main thing we, we're trying to do in T20 cricket. Um, and you see, it's, it's quite a quick scoring ground. So it's, um, yeah, I think we were in a good place. There was a bit of a bitter taste left in their mouth, absolutely dominating the group stages last year, being unbeaten for so long. And then unfortunately injuries and call-ups happened. We fell at the, at the core final hurdle, which I know really stung a lot of the guys in there. So there's been a big push so, here at Surrey that there always is a push to win trophies and be successful. We obviously ticked off the county championship last year and we're going to look to do the same is to regain that trophy this season. But the T20 blast is, is very much high up on that priority list. start the season aiming to win every tournament that you enter. So we haven't actually lifted the cup since 2003 so we want to be doing that sooner rather than later and why not try and do it in 2023 but other sides will be saying similar so we've got to concentrate on what we can do. Uh, we know that if we play to our full potential then we'll challenge everyone else. And I think just in general the T20 Blast as a package is just quite sensational and to be at the Oval, full house, music blaring, lights going up, fireworks everywhere. I've certainly been lucky enough to play some international cricket around the world and a bit of franchise stuff, but over on a Friday night, not much comes near it. Yeah, so it's the end of the game. We obviously ended up on 171, six short of them. So probably in hindsight, we would let them get a few too many. Um, we had them, 100, I think, 111 for eight, something like that. Um, and they managed to get 177. So yeah, probably a few too many and just one of those things which didn't quite get over the line. Yeah, felt good. Felt really good. Um, you know, this obviously haven't played in a while, so that sort of lack of game, um, you know, match sort of intensity and awareness. Um, but yeah, look, I've got out of it exactly what I needed to. Got through it injury free <laughs> as well, which was the main thing. Um, and go again Monday, and then yeah, all guns ahead for Thursday. Well, you definitely did step up from the other day, and that's something I asked him more. So good weekend. See you Monday. Mm -hmm.